My fundamental anal beats playlist is actually recommended for Apex. Why? Because it contains a lot of reactive strafes and all the fundamentals you need. Now it's actually one and a half hours long, so it's really long for people who actually want to grind. My go to playlist is a combination of the HNA routines and Rid Smooth Reactive. It's really good for target switch heavy games, and this playlist is what built my aim alongside with my static ones, we'll talk about later. Now, my go to two is basically just a shortened version with this that is just clicking and Rid Smooth. That recommended here is the goaded first one. Now, my Valorant or CSGO playlist is my first Valorant playlist I made. This is a 60 minute playlist going by one on one technique. The strength of this one is that you're covering so many different angles by doing the one on one technique. So for example, you might be going close fast drapes and then close fast drapes easy and then close fast drapes thin. Here I have actually done three minutes of close fast drapes but attacking all different angles and people seem to really like this one. 4BK benchmarks are one of my favorite playlists. Why? Because it actually measures your aim and works as a great playlist to build your aim in game as well. This playlist is a little bit special and it follows one of my favorite playlists, Trip has Gotta Go Fast, which is very difficult, reactive or speed reactive as I call it. It's basically my fundamentals, static clicking, blah, 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 together with this playlist. Now, if we go to solely tracking, we have my dodge playlist, which is pure movement and recommended here is doing very long strafes. We have my smooth regen playlist, which is inspired by Trippa's Smooth Region playlist, but it's also very much different because it follows a more of a strafing pattern, while Trippa's versions follows a more smooth bot and tam target version, precision basically. Smooth Region users are recommended if you have shaky aim or just general bad tracking. My Fire and Ice is a really unique playlist that basically combines very difficult scenarios with very easy scenarios, so it's a little bit unique in that regard. It's recommended for advanced people. My 4BK React as much as possible is great if you leave your crosser in the dust and struggle reacting. This is very similar to Trippers Gotta Go Fast, except my own twist on it. Now if we move over to only clicking, these will obviously be not my 4BK stop over flicking. Like the name says, if you struggle over flicking, play this one. It's also very similar to my Static God playlist. I said a lot alongside with my go-to playlist, this 4 Bang & Kovacs static playlist is what I did for a long, long, long time. I actually neglected tracking for a very long time and just played this playlist and I really felt my aim improve. So this isn't just if you play Valorant or CSGO, this is a really solid playlist. Now we'll move over to the compilations. These are basically playlists that are meant to be played together or in unison. My Static God playlist alongside with my Tracking Mastery is basically you play the Static God day one and then the day two you play the full tracking mastery. Moving over to what I like to call the CUP technique which is going to be two different compilations. These are going to be miniature playlists that you can play and add together. So one playlist might be corrective flicking and another one might be pokeball and the third might be short static. It all depends what you want to choose and how you want to pair these playlists together to again customize and create your own playlist the way you like it. It's person very personal and very customizable specifically for your needs whatever your needs are you'll find it here. Now if you've played more than 100 hours in aim trainers I really recommend these far routines. These have taken my aim lately into the next level. It works by splitting up different routines into different days. So day one you do flicking and mouse controls you see here, day two reactive strafes and static and so on and so on. Basically by just playing reactive for a single day we can break down the minuscule fields a lot more and therefore we get better progress. These are simply the older versions of my far routine. They are also recommended but I probably recommend my newer far routines a lot more. Now this is a playlist that's rather unique. It's meant to be played with low FOV. This so you can see every minute detail and it has been helping some people with their tracking issue. Now we can Conditioning playlist is basically to make you a little bit better by adding first a very difficult playlist and then adding the normal version directly afterwards. Moving on to my Discord. Moving on to my Discord, we have another set of playlists. Now, I'm not going to explain these as they're pretty safe. So explaining to me, I struggle with reacting to targets. Then you play this one, this one, this one. Static. Trusted Daily is a really good roughly 35 minute playlist that covers all your needs. Static Gods, which is not my version, is very similar to Trusty, but it's also really good. RX Static Compilation is perfect. I love these playlists so much. VT Static Advanced is great if you struggle with speed during your clicking. This is a super good smoothness playlist. This is a little bit harder version of Smoothness God. Pure J Apex is great for Apex, but also tracking in general. Triple Smooth Regen, we have talked about. Skylar Smooth Precision is really good as well if you struggle with smoothly tracking smaller dots. Smooth Reactive Playlist is for those people who are a little bit more advanced and it's perfect for those people who struggle reacting and then tracking, not just purely the reacting part. 
Under tracking heading is a little bit easier version, which takes the idea of playing easier scenarios for more benefit. It's not necessarily a thing for under tracking, but it's really good for precision. Rid Smooth Reactive, very similar to Smooth Reactive Trippus, except this one focuses more on strafes. SMH Track is a really good full fundamental tracking playlist. And it's really good for reactive and even playing CSGO, I've played this and it's really, really good. Again, Smooth Reactive, really good. Chip has got to go fast, as I said, is super difficult. Toria Reactive Conditioning is basically is the opposite of my conditioning, which is here you're playing easier versions and then harder, as opposed to my versions, which are harder versions and then easier. If you struggle with target switching, there's only really one option, in my opinion, and that's Viscose TS. Triple Speed TS and Gore TS, which I don't have in here, is also really good. This is great for any games, even Valorant. You want to be able to flick fast and adjust, which are, these are good at. It's not just switching targets, it's actually flicking. Now, the HNA routines are the same principle, except they focus more on accuracy. I recommend the first one for the idea of results. That's it. Do you think I missed any playlists or want to cover some more? Now you know. Boom. Thank you for being part of this community.